hey everyone and welcome to yet another shower routine so for today's video i wanted to set the vibes and i went ahead and lit this candle you guys can get this candle at walmart it is amazing they have like four different scents and they're like six dollars they smell so freaking good but other than that we're just gonna set the vibes like i said get the water running and everything like that i'm sorry you guys i haven't had like a recent video i've had a lot going on in my life right now but nevertheless we are back into it so as always you guys know you get in the shower and rinse off your body and then i always start off by rinsing my face or not rinsing my face but washing it just so that it can like set and like really penetrate and get into my skin throughout the entire time i'm in the shower i feel like the longer you leave your face wash on the like better it gets to actually work into your skin versus applying your face wash and then literally washing it off seconds later i feel like it doesn't really get the opportunity or the chance to like do what it needs to do so that's why i like to do it in the shower And you guys, please do not forget to get underneath your chin. That is the area that I typically always break out because I love coffee and pop. And if you have a lot of pimples or if you get a lot of like common breakouts underneath your chin or like around your chin area, it is normally caused by coffee and pop. So if you are like me, girl, do not forget your chin, okay? Then you guys know I always talk about my Dr. Bronner, so I've got to have it. This is what's going to give you that really good cleansing. You need to cleanse your body before you go in with the Smell Good. Otherwise, you're literally just putting, you know, a Smell Good product over a dirty body. And that just does not fly with me. So I always go ahead and go in with my Dr. Bronner's. It's like a must. And this one just smells really good. This one's like the more common one. I feel like a lot of people use this one just because it's like the typical pepperminty scent i will say it is super strong so be careful and if you are a lady or a male watching this video please do not get this near your intimate areas i have been told multiple times from multiple people who have used dr bronner's that it burns down there this soap is not meant for your downstairs area so please at all costs try to avoid getting it down there um i'm really used to it i don't use it inside of my downstairs area but like the outer part i can get away with and it doesn't burn and i love it just helps me smell really good and like i said get that base cleanse and make me feel really confident that my body is super squeaky clean before i go in with one of my smell goods i absolutely love it for underneath my armpits as well because it helps me get rid of like the previous um deodorant smell that i have and it just makes me feel like i'm like re-cleansing re-purifying or really deep cleansing my armpits i don't know something about dr bronner's and my armpits i just love it so much i don't know it's really weird <laughs> but i'm obsessed with dr bronner's i will always use dr bronner's there's so many benefits to dr bronner's also if you guys want to look it up on youtube there's like a whole video where there's like 50 uses for like dr bronner's i'm obsessed then i'm gonna go ahead and rinse my body so that that way i can go in with a smoke good process so this is where like you can go ahead and pick your smoke good body wash so i wanted to do like a vanilla coconut shower routine but it ended up just kind of being like a regular shower routine i didn't really go into details too much for this video but for the next one i will like i said i've just been going through a lot so i really haven't had much time to edit and everything but this is the french vanilla blossoms body wash from bath and body works it lathers really amazingly i did buy this because a lot of people were talking about this at one point in time i will say though um i do not like this scent pretty much at all it is not for me and that's pretty rare there's like a lot of scents that i love and there's like very few that i don't love but this one is one of them i don't know why it's so overhyped but to me it is just not that good it does not smell that amazing to me and I probably won't be using it quite often. This was my first time ever using it, but I was just not a fan, you guys. But like I said, it did lather really good, but that's Bath & Body Works for you. They always lather really amazingly. And then we're going to go ahead and rinse this off. now i'm gonna go ahead and exfoliate this is from soap and glory this is where like the coconut comes in 
This is their coconut um, body scrub. I loved the texture was so different, but let me tell you, it is like a really good exfoliant, okay? So this is as needed. Like I said, you do not have to exfoliate, but I just do um, typically. And then I'm going to go ahead and rinse off my face. And then like I said, I didn't go too much in detail, but after this point, once you get out the shower, this is be whenever you go in with your Smell Good lotions and body oils. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And please be sure to hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys in my next video.